Hi guys, so I have finished another sketchbook and so I thought I would just do a flip through of it for you so you can um, see what kind of things go on in my sketchbook. This is a Sea White of Brighton, um, it's A4, 160 GSM, um, all media, acid free paper, 50 sheets. I really, really, really enjoy using this sketchbook. It brings me a lot of joy. I love the paper. Totally recommend it. So, if you um, follow I, my collections of Brimble's Box and Sticker Club, or you're a Patreon, you've seen pretty much all of these illustrations already because this is where I create all of those kind of illustrations. Any other illustrations go on in like my personal journal. So yeah, you may have seen some of these already. Um, these are the snow globes that I made for the snow globe collection, which was December. So this um, was a December kit. So this has lasted me from like the end of October, end of October, beginning of November through to the end of February. Just to give you an idea of how much I get through a sketchbook. Um, so yeah, these are the snow globes. I, um, turned them into the, the snow globe collection, which I wish I had a sticker to show you. But I don't, I'm just looking around my desk. <clears throat> no, I don't have any around my desk. Um, we've got just some little illustrations that ended up going inside of the snow globes. Didn't actually end up using these or this at the end. Sometimes you just play and experiment. Um, yeah, little, little girl, she ended up going inside of a snow globe. some of these illustrations I do have quite a few gaps in in this sketchbook which I could go back through and um, do some illustrations on the reason I don't is because I quite like keeping my collections together I find it a lot easier when I come to kind of um, edit them and everything rather than having to like search through the sketchbook um, I'm funny when I use a sketchbook because sometimes sometimes I give myself like I would say start down here and I give myself loads of space and I end up with loads of white space other times I think oh yeah I can fit that illustration in there and I end up not giving myself enough space and so it's kind of something that I'm always like working on and trying to fiddle with you know it's a tough one um my little winter fawn <laughs> So that's such a big sketchbook, I have to keep like doing that to um, to fit it on my desk. So yeah, the foxy and the little ice skating girl, and some few swatches and some scribbles, I've got to get my pen to work. Um, this was a bonfire essentials um, that I did for my Patreon collage sheets back in November. So just some like really simple illustrations. And when I do like the essentials like this, I leave them black and white for my um, Patreons to color in themselves. My little girl, she's just been to a bonfire um, fireworks display and she's got a little sparkler there. These I started to take part in the Mm, what's it called what's it called was it the fairy tale week i think it was called fairy tale week or no folk tale week folk tale week um the prompts were forest magic witch ghost insect mirror animal i only did the first three because i kind of run out of steam I, the ghost one kind of vexed me a bit i wasn't really sure what to do for ghost and then i just kind of gave up <laughs> um this became um, part of the snow globe collection, um, this moony landscape. Um, that's what I used as the background. I um, It's black and white. I didn't go, up, go over it with um, some nail varnish, which is what the glittery, the glittery thing is. Um, I, um, it's painted in, in grayscale, so then I, in Photoshop, I made it a brush, and then I changed the colour of it and used the brush to make the background for my snow globes. Playing around with trees. Um, yeah, so this was my forest, um, for the forest prompt, with a little red riding hood. 
Um, this is actually the most recent thing, trying to fill some space. Um, these are going to be for my March Patreon collage sheets. Um, another moon there. Love watercolouring moons. Um, this was my first attempt. I did a video on Patreon, um, tutorial on Patreon. This was my first attempt. I wasn't happy with it. It didn't look how I wanted it to look. So I did it again. <laughs> but it's in there, you know. So there it is again. You can see that shimmery, shimmeriness. That's actually all glittery, glittery, glittery nail varnish. Um, and I do have another one of those, which I will show you in my journal. This is my this is my journal. Um, I will show you it so you can see if I can find it. You can never seem to find these things quickly when you want them on a video, which is annoying. My Patreons have seen my journal, but I kind of been saving. Why can't I find it? Why can't I find it? Here we go. Here we go. There you go. That's the unicorn in my journal. That's the witch that I was talking about that I did for that prompt as well. And there's that. So, and um, yeah. I was going to show you another page, but I had a photo of my daughter on it then. Um, so, yeah, that's the unicorn. Um, okay, on to Christmas themed collage sheet patreon um elements so working on those like a little wintry character not everything that you see um makes it by the way i cherry pick what i am happy with and what i like um i loved this little marshmallow people in the in the hot chocolate this was um, Redo of Winston. If you don't know, Winston is my little mousy character. Um, I brought Winston back for December. He was going to be decorating his tree. I wasn't happy with this sketch, so I abandoned it. This is one of those examples where I didn't give myself enough room. I started the head down, down too low, so then I didn't have enough room for the body. The body became really squat. Um, so we redid him, <laughs> um, and there he is. Um, I just leave myself some notes, like I mucked up and I drew a line there for his inner ear, but it shouldn't have been an inner ear, that should have been an outer ear. So I just left myself a little note saying, remove the inner line, and I went wonky. Um, just there, that line, and so I left myself a note, delete this, you plonker. <laughs> A North Pole and a Santa illustration that never went anywhere. So this now onto my sloth collection. Um, this was the um, the January collection. Um, now the reason these are black and white, and the reason a lot of my illustrations are sometimes black and white, is because sometimes like the snow globe collection, that was all done with watercolor, and um, yeah, I watercolored them before I photographed them and did all the did all the do. Um, these guys, however, they were um, coloured in in Photoshop. So sometimes I colour them in digitally, sometimes I, I watercolour them. Just depends on what the illustrations are. And I guess kind of how I'm, kind of how I'm feeling the direction of the stuff going. One day, one day, I'd love to be able to buy an iPad and get Procreate and a pencil, an Apple pencil, and be able to do these di di illustrations digitally, like straight on the iPad, because that would just save me so much extra work. You know, my, my workflow, my process would just reduce dramatically. But that's a dream for one day in the future. And so yeah, more, more sloths, look at this big round belly. More sloths. And sometimes I write little quotes down if they come to me um, for the kit, like slow life down, chill time, take it easy, get more sleep, hang out, take time to chill, chase goals, but take time for you. Um, yeah, like if, if, you know, if something kind of comes to me, I'll jot it down. <laughs> right, next we're moving on to my um, Alice in 
Alice in Plannerland. That's the one. My Alice in Plannerland kit. My first um, attempt at the Mad Hatter. Um, my first attempt at the bunny. The fact that these are in pencil means that they never made it. Um, I always ink over my drawings um, to so that they, when I photograph them, it, they show up a lot more. Um, and I can remove the white, the background easier, make the background disappear, which is easier to do when you've got a big, back, bold, bold black line. Um, so the fact they're in pencil means they never made it. <laughs> So that's the bunny that did make it. And a really weird looking Cheshire cat. This was the Alice in Plan Land was quite a um, requested theme in the Facebook group, but I actually found it quite difficult because Alice in Wonderland has just been done by so many different people. And there's two that really stick in your mind, like the Disney version and the Tim Burton version. And I found it quite hard to try and do something that was different. Found that very tricky indeed. A uh, little cat, a wonky Alice. <laughs> a falling Alice. Standing Alice and a Tweedle character. Um, but started doing a Cheshire cat. I, I just couldn't get on with a Cheshire. <laughs> Another couple of Alice's. Oh, this one started off in the right sort of direction and then never really went anywhere. It's my illustrations for my pancake people. Let's see those. And I'm gonna just um, miss a couple of pages because um, I have been working on an online course which will be coming um, sometime in the spring. <laughs> um, and so I don't want to give anything away on that yet. So I've just skipped a couple of pages there. Um, these are bits and pieces that um, didn't go anywhere really. Um, the fox did go somewhere. He ends up being one of my Patreon collage sheets. I, I In Photoshop I used the fox and the watercolour and the, and the moon and he became a piece of art on his own. <laughs> some more stuff for Patreon, some winter mittens and a winter hat. Little deer. I did end up reworking this deer. This was for the um, Hello Spring collection, which is the March collection. And that's that, that little deer reworked and inked and she was actually actually used the sleeping one and then this one I I did rework this one um, again another example of where I started too low down um, in the page another little deer. and another one so all of these were colored in in Photoshop. This one did make it, <laughs> although as you can see, I put make head bigger. I I mucked up the body versus the head. I don't know what happened there, but with the beauty of Photoshop, I was able to enlarge the head. <laughs> so I didn't want to waste this because I liked how I, I liked the body shape. And I thought if I redo this, it's just not gonna go the same way so yeah photoshop enlarge the head all was good <laughs> some flowers they were in the hello spring kit and the blue tits see that i do have a lot of white space and i could go in and re redo them but yeah maybe i should <laughs> um this these were for my Patreons for um, February. So sort of a Valentine's-y kind of um, theme. A little candy floss. <laughs> and then next, this is the 
April, yeah, the April collection, the Be, the Be Happy collection. Yeah, so that's it, guys. That is um, my completed recent completed sketchbook tour i hope you enjoyed having a look at all the doodles and how they actually look what they actually look like before they ever become anything <laughs> thanks for watching guys bye